congratulations. You punched him in the mouth early and never stopped. Yeah, we made it a little too interesting at the end. Um, probably made a mistake taking our guys out with a few minutes left in the game and give credit to Dallas. They continue to fight, but ultimately we did enough at, in the end to secure the victory. I was just so proud of our team, just the mindset of coming out here. And um, I mean, we, we knew we were coming down here to win a football game. And despite what everybody said on the outside, that all it was was noise to us. And um, I think we proved what we're all about. How about your man, Jordan Love? Three touchdown passes, no interceptions, quarterback rating of 157.2. The man continues to do it. Oh, what a phenomenal game. Uh, I can't say enough great things about him as a, as a person, as a player, as a competitor, as a leader. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think there's anybody that doubts that. If there was anybody that doubted him, I don't think there is anybody that doubts him now. How about Aaron Jones, another 100-yard-plus rushing his fourth in a row? How big was your ground game that you could lean on it like you did? Oh, it was huge. I mean, we were uh, springing explosive runs. Certainly, he's a dynamic player, dynamic back. We know that we're better when he touches the ball more than 20 times a game, and uh, that proved right tonight. Um, he he kind of uh, just continues to amaze all of us. Every week, it seems, a receiver steps up with a big game. This week was Romeo Dobbs, six catches, 151. You're getting 100 yard receivers every week now, 151 yards and a touchdown. How do you keep finding these guys that are going to step up when you need them the most? I, th I think it just speaks to the depth that we have. And, and you know, we had a tough decision. We sat Malik Heath tonight because we needed extra bodies in other places, and that's always a tough decision. But, um, we have a lot of guys that can go out there and perform, and certainly Rome was a man possessed tonight. And, uh, you know, he continues to make spectacular catches. He was great after the catch. Uh, you know, I can't say enough great things about him and the, what he brings to that room. Defensively speaking, I suppose the headline act is two interceptions, both of them leading to scores. Yeah, that was huge. Certainly, J Jair's to. Uh, get us going early after the touchdown we turn around that's complimentary football at its finest and then that pick six by Saf uh, what, a, what a play by him you know he's always trying to make those plays and it was great to see him it come to fruition and uh, finish with the ball in the end zone did you also notice Keyshawn Nixon I thought he showed up a lot oh he was all over the place he had a great game um, just can't say enough great things about just the kind of guy he is, the competitor. He, he's a, a real warrior. Game plan wise, was it kind of fun? I mean, you guys ended up with 415 yards of offense, 143 yards rushing, four for four in the red zone, and no turnovers. That's a pretty good offensive game plan, is it not? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, <laughs> but it's it's it doesn't matter what what we do. You know, if the guys don't go out there and execute, and I can't say enough about our players, certainly our offensive line, I think they're the unsung heroes of the game, giving up no sacks to that pass rush. That doesn't happen very often, especially the way Dallas is able to play at home. Uh, they're a very fast football team, and our old line kind of kind of got to go in today. Now it's bring on the 49ers, huh? Yeah, hey, you know, we're going to go out there, give it our best shot. I know... Uh, Probably going to be a, a quick turnaround, but um, and we're going to have to rest some guys up because we, we got a little gas there at the end of the game. We had a lot of guys out of the game that couldn't go back in, um, but uh, we're, we're really excited about the opportunity.